Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome back to What's for Teen. It's lovely to see you all again, as usual, and I hope you've had a good week, and it's that time of the week again, where I show you what I made for the family meals. And as usual, if I've done a video recipe on anything that you see here, I will always leave it linked underneath the video. So we'll start all the way back on Monday through till today, which is Sunday, and we were away for a couple of days as well. So I'll just show you what we had whilst we were away. So on Monday, this was a new one to me, veg and feta pasta. I go to a slimming group, if you don't know, you probably do if you've been following me for a wee while. And I've set the challenge of doing this recipe and then posting it to the private Facebook group. So it was parpadel pasta and it was roasted tomato, roasted onion, there were garlic in there, feta cheese, oregano, Oh, and it was just wonderful. And courgettes as well. And it was really, really tasty and ever so simple to make. And I was going to turn this into a video recipe, but I just didn't have the time. But I'll definitely have this one earmarked for the future. This is actually from the Slimming World magazine. So if you're interested and, you know, if you're in the UK and you can get this magazine and you do buy the magazine, I would highly recommend trying it out. So it's the Veg and Feta Parpadel pasta and this was the veggies on the tray just before they went into the oven so that's the courgette red onion tomato the oregano the feta yeah it's just wonderful then moving on to tuesday a very simple one for us was shepherd's pie one of our absolute favorites sometimes i do it you know just in the one big dish and then just take a scoop out and throw it in the plate but we do like these wee individual dishes but the downside to these individual dishes is you know it stays warm in these things for absolutely ages even when you're finished you know that the, the, the wee dish will still be piping hot so it takes ages to cool down but it does keep everything you know in the same place which I like so that's the shepherd's pie with the cheese on the top and some steamed carrots on the side and then moving on to Wednesday like I said we were away just for a few days we were away visiting friends went down to the lake district or that area so we just ate out on a couple of the nights just in a wee local brewer's fair type place so very inexpensive but it's one of these change you know you know what you're going to get so you kind of know what to expect but this was really tasty i had the trio of pies which i've never had before i was starving but these things are really really tiny and you can't really tell on the plate just how small they are but I did only manage two of these so there were a lamb and mint sort of gravy pie oh this was this this one was my favorite it was really tasty and then there was a wee tiny steak and ale pie as well which was a close second and then they also had a chicken tikka pie as well I didn't manage that one but I did want to let you see what it was like inside and Mr Watts for tea had the cheese and bacon burger but he got his without the bacon because he's not keen on bacon and a burger so it was basically a cheeseburger and chips and this was mine here on the menu you could have had this with mash but I just decided to go with the chips because I like chips and gravy together they also done puddings and starters and different things as well but just could not manage anything else these wee drinks as well were really really good I had the cherry and vanilla soda Mr What's for Tea had the raspberry and blood orange and they were both really really nice it was a bit of a mocktail I suppose I've never actually tried these before and I, again I will be trying to recreate those and with a really nice setting right next to the lake and there were wee bar or quite big barge boats on the lake as well so yeah just fab very relaxing and on Thursday obviously we were still away and there were a chippy, a traditional sort of sit-in chip shop type place called the Old Keswickian. And this place is legendary, you know, round about these parts. So we just had to give it a go. Wasn't sure we were going to be able to get a table, but we managed to just walk in and get a table. And we both went for the fish of the day, which happened to be haddock, which is our favourite fish of the day. <laughs> and we had chips and a wee wedge of lemon as well and I also had the curry sauce and this was absolutely delicious and really good value for money as well and this was us on the way back always like to try and catch this sign on the way back so it's just welcome to Scotland and you just feel as though you're coming home and on Friday it was quite a warm day on Friday the sun was shining so we didn't want anything too heavy so we fancied something kind of salady so this is a cheese and bacon quiche with some side salad on the side and just some wee potato 
crickets as well. So we just started off with the lettuce or the salad leaves, some baby plum tomatoes and just a couple of slices of cucumber. That's that cheese and bacon quiche there. And then just some potato croquettes, just for a change from the chips that we would normally have. And I did have to use them up. Just a wee bit of olive oil and black pepper on the salad, just keeping it simple. And this was lovely and light, you know, for quite a warm day. And we're definitely getting into the brighter, warm days, which I love. And then moving on to Saturday or yesterday, we had chicken pie. And I do like to make these wee individual pies, you know, if I've got leftovers, because you can basically put anything into a pie. I had some leftover chicken in the freezer and I just put some peas and carrots so it's a sort of creamy sauce I put some cream in there or creme fraiche as well so I had a jacket potato these are the McCain jackets which I usually use because they're just so easy and they're always lovely and fluffy and that's that chicken pie there just at the back with some garden peas and then some chicken gravy as well this is the Bisto Best chicken gravy and just a wee hint you know if you do have Bisto Best gravy but you want a nice creamy gravy add a wee bit of cream you know when you've turned your heat off you know add a wee bit of cream and give it a stir and it makes it lovely and creamy didn't do it this time but you know I have done that in the past and it's really tasty and then moving on to today a Sunday, no Sunday dinner in sight. We really fancied, or I really fancied cheeseburger pasta. I haven't had this for absolutely ages, you know, and it's well on plan with the Slimming World plan that I am following. So yeah, this is, this feels like a wee treat to me, but it actually is very much on plan. And I do have a video recipe for this cheeseburger pasta bake. I will leave in the description box underneath the video. And this was out here, just out of the oven. And I did freeze most of this, because like I said, this one was just for me. And Mr. What's for Tea fancied macaroni cheese. So I also made macaroni cheese. Just the same pasta, obviously. Macaroni with a different sauce. So this is a, just a standard cheese sauce with some green beans on the side that I had to use up. With some grated extra mature cheddar on the top with a wee bit of black pepper as well. And he really likes macaroni cheese. I quite like it, but not as much as he does. I much prefer the cheeseburger pasta. So that was everything that we had this week. And a huge thank you, as usual, to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here as well. And I do have to update those lists. So if your name isn't there, I do update those lists about once a month. So they will appear in some of my recipe videos are pre-recorded so your name might disappear and then reappear but they will be there eventually and have a wonderful rest of your week thanks for watching take care and bye for now bye now Hi.